So another form of a concentration kind of mindfulness practice is to just notice whatever is arising in the moment and be really aware of the moment. And we, we do a bit more of that in this meditation group. But we also allow the breath to be something we follow and notice. You can also concentrate by noticing physical sensations or um, kind of tactile sensations in the body or in the energy. Um, you can bring in one word like a mantra, but it can be any word from any tradition or any language. And a common one that's used in English is allow, just allow, allow. And that can be a concentration practice. So there's many different concentration practices. And, um, and so it's nice just to know that that's kind of an overall movement in meditation and in mindfulness to bring a kind of presence and noticing of the moment. And there's different tools and methods of that, but it's all bringing a stability and, and, and a witnessing into our systems. And when we develop a strong ability to witness our experience, we're then able to also bring a lot of healing to experiences that used to create stress or suffering or irritation or anger or jealousy or attachment or aversion or confusion because now, instead of just having that negative emotion, we have the witnessing of it. And that's a totally different lens. And as we really deeply relax and release in a concentration practice, another lens often arises, which is the, the lens of, of relaxation and presence. Well, presence is like witnessing, but I think relaxing and releasing is a little different than witnessing. It's a softening. So you can actually have three things going on at once. You can notice an irritating thought and be relaxing deeply. And that irritating thought is going and there is something there that is witnessing the deep relaxation and the irritating thought and the witnesser. So all three are there, like three different channels. And today we're going to actually allow any, any thought, feeling, sensation in the body that wants to be witnessed, given attention, and, and allowed to come into ourselves in a loving way, in a, in a way just like when we helped a friend in need, that we can help our own emotions, our own thoughts, our own sensations in the body with that same kind of gesture. So I'll talk you through that, but I wanted you to kind of know where this next part of meditation will be going. So we're going to begin. Um, okay. So just getting into a comfortable posture where your back is straight. If you wish to lie down, that's wonderful. But if you tend to fall asleep when meditating, I recommend having your arm extended above you because if you start to fall asleep, the arm will fall and you'll wake up. Um, unless you're wanting to take a nap and that, that's fine if that's, if that's your, totally your decision. And you can also practice standing. You can practice with eyes open or eyes closed. I'm just going to invite you now to allow yourself to notice your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Noticing the way your breath moves into your inner landscape and the way it moves out. As though you could just take a little journey on your breath watching it fill you and watching it release. And noticing where the surfaces of the ground or the chair or the couch or the bed, how they support you, where your body connects to this surface, noticing that and allowing your breath, each breath, 
to be its own unique experience as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And with your inhale, notice a little, a little coming to attention as though that breath coming in was giving a little energizing and notice as you exhale a releasing a letting go. So breathing in you bring in attention and breathing out you release and you allow and you let go. And just keep going with that rhythm of breathing in and noticing attention focus and exhaling and releasing allowing unfolding. Just knowing that every breath is an individual breath. Every inhale is unique and every exhale is unique. And with each breath that you witness, you connect a little more with your inner landscape, with your inner sense of knowing and feeling and allowing. And just letting all of your senses open up, your sense of hearing, your sense of seeing, your sense of touch, your sense of smell, and most of all, your sense of knowing. And just noticing whatever is arising for you right in the moment, whether it's a thought or a feeling, a texture, a sound, an emotion, allowing yourself to witness this and allowing that thought or feeling or sensation to be released at the time it wishes to be released. So you witness it arising and you witness it going. And there's nothing you have to do. You just rest here in this witnessing. Knowing your breath is there as a soft, easy flow supporting you. Your inner senses are there open and aware and they allow whatever within you wishes to be seen, wishes to be known or felt or experienced right now. Inviting your body to give you some information, however the body wishes to speak to you, and allowing your most loving, your most supportive part of yourself to listen to the body and imagine that you can hold this communication the body gives you with such care such service and you hold it and you release it at the same time just allowing it to be heard allowing the body to speak and allowing yourself to listen in this loving compassionate way you accept any information
and allowing your emotions to be heard perhaps there's a emotion that arises for you often and you allow that emotion to speak to you you allow that part of yourself that is so kind so compassionate so present to hear the emotion and hold it and witness it and allow it to go on its way when it's ready or to be folded into your heart or to be held or to be loved or to be set free like birds flying into the horizon or wind blowing through a tree or waves crashing against the sand. And whatever arises for you, whether it's the body speaking, the emotions, or thoughts, just bringing the same witnessing in kindness, in total surrender and acceptance, and holding and nurturing and releasing when ready any messages that are here for you. as though there were a conversation happening between this part of you that is so kind and so clear and so wise, so loving, that can have the wideness, the acceptance to hear and to receive and to give whatever is needed to any part of yourself that needs this kind of attention, this kind of care, this kind of clarity. And just allowing this like a wave flowing in and out. The way birds fly into the sky and become smaller and smaller the way trees blow in the breeze and bend and shake and the branches and the leaves and the flowers soak in the sun and are moved by the wind and the way a river moves against the surface of the land, creating new paths, new directions, as you bring your kindness and your acceptance to any experience, just like nature moves and transforms, your inner being allows and receives and gives. Your inner being creates a new subtle level of understanding and communication. So easy, so kind, so present. And you feel that your focus is so easy. Just like the flowing of water, just like the movement of air, just like the softness of ground, and just like the warmth of sun, your presence is natural. And your breath is here as a support to you as you listen and you allow and you care for yourself. Imagining a beautiful, warm, glowing light in the back of your head and neck that emanates through your face and your throat and your chest in a glowing, beautiful warmth that brings 
a very gentle tenderness within you. And perhaps this light extends through the heart or the belly or the hips or the legs. Perhaps it extends out in every direction. And just allowing this light, it may change to a color. It may become a cool light or a very warm light. Whatever is needed, allowing this light to go through every pore of your being. And just as your breath moves in and moves out, this light radiates, bringing clarity and kindness, focus, gentleness through your entire system, through your emotions, through your energy, through your thoughts, through your body, just receiving this light and allowing this light to flow through you and out around you. And just allowing this knowing of this light within you being the same knowing of a light that's within every person. And just as you have this part of you that is so kind, so generous, so loving, so does every person. And you can feel for a moment your light and their light, their very truest self connecting all over the world. And as you give your light out into the world, imagining your light going out to help heal the earth, imagining your light going through space and time to any place, any person, any plant, any animal that can receive some of your care, of your clarity, of your strength, of your creativity, of your purpose. And just as your light is going out, imagine that others' light, their goodness, their kindness, their clarity, their creativity, their vision, their joy, their compassion is also felt by you. And light is just light connecting with light. And allowing this at whatever place or way you experience it. And when you're ready, knowing that this light is always within you, imagine a beautiful kind of filter that can hold you like in a cocoon, knowing you're safe and contained and grounded close to the earth, remembering what it was like to stand and feel the connection between your feet and the ground, imagining the roots of a tree holding you steady and firm, strong in your connection to the ground and the earth. And I'm going to count to 10. And when I count to 10, you'll be easily and totally present and here and remember everything about your meditation. So one, allowing yourself to go even more deeply into this presence, this connection with the earth, with the light. Two, feeling that radiance within. Three, enjoying any part of your body or mind or emotions. Four, letting yourself be quite still. Five, thanking your inner self for its wisdom. Six, releasing and allowing that light to be exactly in its perfect place within you. Seven, 
feeling into your fingers and your hands and starting to move. Eight, allowing yourself to yawn or stretch. Nine, bringing attention to the surface that's supporting you, noticing where your body meets the surface. And 10, opening your eyes and knowing that you can remember every part of your meditation. Okay, guys, taking a moment to come back into your room and into our group. 